Hi. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, MobiRuby. It's my first uh, English presentation. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Yuichiro Masui. Uh, I came from Tokyo. Please call me Ichi. My Twitter account and GitHub account is Masui Drive. I really love the programming and writing code anytime, anywhere, now, especially uh, with the uh, Ruby language. <laughs> I, I write in code anytime. But my, popular, uh, my most popular open source product is PHP-based UK engine. Uh, just a Ruby pro, uh, Japanese Ruby is known as a programmer. <laughs> Pro means hot tub. I'm co uh, coding while in the hot tub. <laughs> now I'm working at Japanese startup company uh, uh, we, who is uh, Frog Apps that has released food photo sharing application for the iPhone and Android. But the application are not built on MobiRuby. They are native application. Until September, I had worked at Accelerator that is released Titanium Mobile. It's JavaScript-based iPhone and Android development framework. But now, I'm working on MobiRuby. It's competitive of Titanium Mobile. MRuby, uh, MobiRuby is uh, my private pro project. It is not for business. MobiRuby is an iPhone application development environment built on MRuby. You can create iOS application using Ruby. MRuby provides bridge between Coco and MRuby. You can, you can call native classes and functions instead of Objective-C. Currently, MobiRuby supports iOS only, but I have plans for the Android version. I confirmed MRuby can run on the Android devices. I'm already released the MobiRuby-based game application. I have a demo. Please help me. Sorry, please wait. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. It's, uh, it's a mobile Ruby based application. It's already released in that iPhone's uh, iOS App Store. It's a simple game. It's very smooth, uh, smooth animation. It's like a native application. You can download this game from iOS app, app Store. Uh, please search MobiRuby in the uh, in the store. MRuby MRuby is the latest Ruby implements by Matt. I had MRuby first time at 2010. At that time, it's called uh, LiveVM. MRuby is designed for embedded systems. It means small memory and modular uh, modular structure. MRuby is more compact than other Ruby implements. On OS X, MRuby binary is around 406 kilobytes, but CRuby is over 2 megabytes. MRuby can even smaller. MRuby has modular structure. If you want to remove math library, you can, you can remove it easily. So MRuby supports multiple uh, virtual machines. CRuby does not support yet. Instead, MRuby has many limitations. MRuby is built on ISO specifications. It means MRuby does not support SLED and many classes. Almost all Ruby standard libraries are not supported. So RubyGems is not supported. Uh, sub supported. And MRuby still alpha version Sometimes I found MRuby bugs. 
mobile Ruby provides uh, Ruby power to the mobile devices, especially mobile phone. Uh, do you know Do you know Wax? Wax is W A X. Uh, Wax is Rua-based iPhone application toolchain, uh, development toolchain, similar to Ruby. Rua is a popular language around embedded systems. The syntax near action split. Wax was born about three years ago, but it, it is not popular yet. Why? The code is Rua language, I think. Their, their bridge, uh, bridge library is one of Guru language. That needs a powerful language support. I think Rua does not have enough dynamic programming capability. Metaprogramming is most important, mo most powerful capability in Ruby. Ruby's metaprogramming can make good lapping native libraries and make DSL for the iOS. Hello world, uh, hello world code. iOS developer can understand this sample code. It's really similar Objective C. In first, uh, first half, the code defined a new class, my alert view, then inherited from UI alert view Coco class, and define new delegate methods through define method. MRuby has not support, support keyword arguments yet. It's two point of feature. And MRuby's hash is not ordered. It's as, uh, same as Ruby 1.8. My alert view defined on Ruby code is Ruby class and Objective-C class. Ruby and Objective-C both sides can touch my alert view class. In second half, create my alert view instance and show this alert box. When, call, uh, when you call Objective-C method, you need to start and scores as the slide shows. On country version, if you want iOS application on mobile Ruby, you need to understand Objective-C and Cocoa libraries. Is it nonsense? I think so too. I'm aiming for the this code on next version. It looks like a truly uh, Ruby code. It's not uh, similar of the Objective-C. Active record lab SQL and provide good DSL to Ruby programmers. So mobile Ruby will lap the Coco libraries and good DSL to the Ruby programmers. But I, I fa at first, I focus to make Coco bridge on MRuby. It's for the baseline of mobile Ruby. After that, I will make uh, create new APIs. I will talk about mobile Ruby internals. Mobile Ruby has made up five components. At first, MRuby is main component of mobile Ruby. It was patched and some configuration changed. And second component is MRuby C Funk. It's an interface with C function and MRuby. MRuby C func provides an interface to MRuby and C level functions. It's the same as Ruby DL library on C Ruby. The code, the code called the put C function from Ruby. Internally, it converts Ruby string to C string. Look up put function pointer to uh, sorry, look up put po function pointer and call the function. MRuby can call all C functions without specific extensions. This component is independent from MRuby, a uh, mobile Ruby. If you want to use it, you can, uh, you can use it. Third component is MRuby Coco. It's an interface to the Objective-C and Coco libraries. MRuby Coco is a bridge for Coco libraries, which is the iOS and OS 10 framework. This library provides transparency communication with MRuby and Coco libraries. MRuby, uh, sorry, MRuby Coco provides 
create a new class, uh, create new instance of Coco class on MRuby. You can also inherit it from existing Coco class on MRuby. In area of Hello World sample, we uh, we inherited from UI Alert View from uh, to my Alert View. UI Alert View is a Coco class, and my Alert View defined in Ruby. Coco and uh, Coco and Ruby class can manipulate transparency, natural interface, delegation, and block functions supported in this library. In this library, the hardest part is uh, memory management. Objective-C use reference counting, and MRuby use uh, mark and sweep. It's a uh, different. It's hard, it's hard to free uh, object con correctly in both environment. Now, all Objective-C classes release method are overridden. It's awful bottleneck for the for the performance. It affects all, all Coco objects, parts are included and not related with MRuby object. It still have a problem that it cannot detect a circular reference. I will fix some, uh, some future. Probably I will uh, rely in assemblers. Fourth component is Mobile Ruby common. It's for future release when we release Android version. This library provides common utility among iOS and Android version. Can currently, it provides require, uh, require and load method only. Standard MRuby does not support required and load methods. A last component is Mo Mobile Ruby iOS. MobileRuby iOS is the main part of the MobileRuby. It provides iOS-specific utility that are included Xcode integration. In the first version, this component is poor. I don't know Xcode, I don't know Xcode deeply. I need to help about Xcode in integration. In the future, MobileRuby will provide good Lapa APIs. It has some compatibility between iOS and Android. When you, when you use their APIs, you can use uh, Cocoa APIs at the same time. And load map. I don't have detailed plan, so it's my private project. I don't have a boss and management section. I am, I am first product level version until end of first quarter of the next year. This version supports almost all Objective-C features. I plan to start writing API and tutorial documents. After that, I will touch next version. It will have a rapid API. So you can code in Ruby style. Current status, I already released the mobile Ruby game. Apple never rejected this application. In September, I finally released the mobile Ruby alpha version. It's the first public version. I'm keeping to update. Now I focus to writing test code. Until recently, I, I wrote a few tests only. I, start, uh, I used Travis CI from two weeks ago. I think Mobile Ruby's hardest part is slate because MRuby does not support slate. I load limited slate feature and testing now. Currently, Mobile Ruby is not for ordinary Ruby programmers. It's for MRuby and uh, Coco hackers. If you know Ob Objective C and have interest to them in MRuby, Please join to the, this, uh, my project. Now, I have three frequency questions. Uh, it's big question is the uh, first question. First question is the first different from the Ruby motion. Ruby motion is area volume based and uh, compiled to native code. It's only for the iOS, uh, but uh, 
Mobi Ruby will release Android version, and uh, Ruby Motion extended Ruby syntax, and uh, Ruby Motion is not open source. Ruby Motion and uh, Mobi Ruby, maybe we have the same goal, but approach is very different. If you if you want to make apps soon, I recommend to use uh, Ruby Motion. It's stable and faster than current uh, Mobi Ruby. And second question, can I use Ruby gems? No, MRuby does not have compatibility with C, C Ruby extension APIs. You need to write a new extension for MRuby. Bobby and Matt has discussed about MRuby's version of Ruby gems. And the third question, can I use existing uh, Cocoa libraries? Yes, you can use almost all existing libraries. I think CocoaPot will be a good partner. CocoaPot uh, Coco, uh, is a library manager for the Xcode. If you have uh, more questions, please tweet to uh, this account, MobiRuby, and post to GitHub issues. I really want a uh, uh, teammate. Currently, I'm alone. If you have uh, interest to the, this project, uh, please contact to, uh, please contact to me. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, the second part uh, is uh, the title is um, MRuby meets RTOS. RTOS. Uh, first of all, uh, let us introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Masayoshi Takahashi. Uh, uh, oh, excuse <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm Masayoshi Takahashi, uh, an Rubyist and web application developer, an uh, ebook publisher, and the founder of Nihon Ruby no Kai, Japan Ruby Group. And I'm sorry, but I'm not embedded guy. I'm very newbie for embedded worlds. And? My name is Yurie Yamane. I'm a hobby programmer. So I'm interested in embedded system. <laughs> okay, uh, before our talks, we'd like to ask uh, some questions. Uh, please raise your hand. Uh, I've used RTOs, RTOs. Who? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. Uh, about 10 people. <laughs> and please raise your hand. I loved iOS and not interested in it so much. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I love iOS too. <laughs> so uh, today's topics. Uh, uh, here, uh, what's embedded systems and uh, showing a demo and explain how to use MRuby with autos. Uh, but I'm, I'm, for, I'm afraid of uh, this talk. <laughs> uh, as you are aware, uh, I'm not talk, I, I don't talk well, I, I can't talk well and uh, the, uh, <laughs> Sorry. 
Uh, so uh, our talks might be tired and boring. So <laughs> we can change the title. New title is who? <laughs> Ruby for Ninjas. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, embedded systems are very different with, uh, for example, web application and enterprise systems. If web application and enterprise systems are like samurai, uh, embedded systems are like ninja. Ninja, do you know ninja? <laughs> uh, <laughs> a samurai is uh, playing the leading role, and they are powerful soldiers, and they are in front, and they are very remarkable. Uh, embedded systems are very different. Uh, they are playing the supporting role, and they are still soldiers, and they are behind, and they control others, control other things. <laughs> so uh, even if Ruby is widely in some right world, uh, same Ruby is not uh, might not be fit to Ninja's world, I think. Uh, if it be so, uh, what the needs of embedded system? Or uh, what are Ninja's rules? Uh, the main purpose of embedded systems are controlling other devices, uh, such like uh, sensors or and actuators. And the very important need of embedded system and Ruby are hidden as much as possible. In other words, they should consume less resources. The resources here are not only space, but also time. Uh, time is resources. Embedded hmm? uh, systems are widely spread around us. Uh, for example, digital cameras, uh, microwave ovens, uh, vending machines, uh, automobiles, uh, traffic signals, uh, they, they use uh, embedded systems. Uh, many ninjas are ha hidden behind our daily lives. Uh, we'd like to use MRuby with them. Hmm. Uh, But uh, we make a. Uh, we don't. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, we make a simple MRuby demos. Now, uh, here is a demo hardware. Uh, we use uh, Fujitsu FM3 microcontroller board uh, as an uh, MRuby system. Uh, its core is uh, ARM Quartex M3, and it has a 128 kilobyte RAM and one megabyte ROM. Uh, it can be connected to PC on CO, uh, and it has small LED. The application in this demo has two tasks. The first task is MRuby interactive shell, uh, like IRB. Uh, you can send MRuby code from PC to the board, then uh, board evaluates the code and responds the re result uh, through serial. The second task is blinking LED task. The board has hardware clock, so the task use it and turn on and turn off the LED at intervals of one second per one seconds. So let's try the demo. Preparing a serial device and a serial speed and ah, me I exit. 
、ライジングモデル。で、えー、お、OK。えー、あ、カメラがちょっと待って。えー、で、This is a console and MRuby is initialization is done. えー、っとっとっと。This is Boat Boost. This is the Boat Boost.Thank you.This is ARM chip and、uh, this is LED blinking now. エンド、えー、おっす。ちょっと待って。ソーリー。よいしょ。ちょっと待ってる。はい。えー、now type A equals one and A B equal two and A plus B equal three And、uh, definition method, def、uh, and、uh, n doubles. So, a f o three is nine and f o ten is one hundred. Okay, it works. <laughs> Thank you. Let's list our requirements. First, blinking LED cyclically. Second, parsing and code generating from MVB code, at,、uh, code in runtime. Third, serial communication without roasting data. We should explain the priority of tasks. Each task has a priority, and if an activated task has higher priority, the lower priority task must become waiting immediately. It's important that LED blinking task has higher priority than MVB task. Let's see cyclic blinking, blinking task. LED blinking task is activated at regular intervals. After turning on or turning off the LED, the task is terminated. The interactive MRuby task. When the LED task is activated, the status is saved. When LED task is terminated, MRuby task is running. MRuby task is continued if other tasks are interrupted. A t o s task system is suited to satisfy those <laughs> these requirements. A t o s task system. Ah, sorry. Ah, more, more, more. There are many autos in the world, but we choose Topaz SP for our system. Topaz SP is an open source real time operating system. Its license is like BSD style, and its code is based on micro i t e m specification, adding, adding Topaz original interruption model. Topaz kernels h a s many variants. We use Topaz SP because it's the standard profile of Topaz Altos kernels. Now change to speaker. <laughs> okay, and. 
Now we explain the uh, ex uh, implementation of the system. Uh, let's uh, show the let's see the component of uh, our system. Uh, there is a timer, LED, and CO. Uh, we use them with two plus one tasks. The main task activates MDB task and AD task. After that, main task is sweeping. In Tuples, uh, you can write your application with three files, uh, C files and header files and uh, CFG file, configuration files of tuples. Configuration files define tasks and other things. Uh, with this file, uh, you can allocate the memory of tasks statically. Statically, um, statically memory allocation is important for embedded systems. Uh, then uh, we talk about very basic of MRuby internals. Uh, the entity of MRuby VM is a struct, struct MRB state. This. Uh, the function MRB open generates a VM, and it's finished with the function MRB close. Uh, in our demos, uh, we use parser and code generator, uh, but it's option, optional. When you use compiled code, uh, you don't need parser and code generator. But uh, you, want to, you want to do like this demo, uh, you must include them. And this is the digest of the demo code. Uh, generating context and generating and initialize parser and parsing Ruby code, uh, generating byte code and write the byte code and and evaluating it. Uh, but uh, 100 kilobyte of RAM is too small for MRuby, so we need to diet. So, uh, we use three ways to shrink our RAM size: uh, modify including mrbconf.h and uh, applying symbol array patch and shrinking MRB leave. First, uh, modifying including mrbconf.h file. This file uses a macro definition to configure MRuby, uh, such like MRB use float, uh, MRB fan call actually max, and others, and so on. We use uh, these macros uh, to reduce uh, our memories. The second way is uh, applying symbols array patch. Uh, symbol in MRuby are implemented with a hash data structure. <laughs> so uh, our patch change to use Ali uh, instead of hash to reduce memory use. <laughs> uh, the third is a uh, shrinking MRB lib. <laughs> MRB lib is MRuby standard library uh, written in Ruby. Uh, so uh, you can remove it to reduce RAM. Uh, by the way, uh, there is an emulator of FM3 board. The emulator is a QEMU, QEM patched version with GUI in Java. Uh, you can download them on the net from this, this URL. Uh, so the conclusion, uh, you can use the MRuby with Altos uh, well, and uh, we hope this talk helps your MRuby life. Uh, thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimashita.